Hello everyone, this is Varsha and I once again welcome you all to our special series of success stories brought to you by Indian Achievers Forum. So once again, we are here with you all to discuss the success story of one more achiever of our and today we have with us Dr. Bhavani Singh Rathor, who is the honorary doctorate by WHRPC, an electrical engineer manager and IPMA certified renewable energy professional. He has 19 years of professional experience with various achievements. He is full of positive energy with high level of leadership skills. He also writes scripts. Recently, he has produced and directed an award-winning documentary feature film, Ek Rajput Kisan, and doing another unique short film called Good Samaritan under Kirti Production. His aim is to educate, motivate and inspire the people at large through all such unique films. Not only this, he is working voluntarily at Rajasthan Sadak Suraksha Society, a great road safety NGO, as Joint Secretary. His interest is to work for human rights protection, road safety and inspirational filmmaking shows his commitments for society. He is also an international member of World Human Rights Protection Commission and member at SWA and IMPPA, IPMA, etc. But before we actually start the conversation with him, let's quickly have a look at a very small video telling you about what we actually do. Indian Achievers Forum is driven by a full-fledged advisory board. The board consists of experienced personalities who have excelled in their respective careers. Together, the forum organizes conferences, events, workshops, exhibitions, trade shows and B2B initiatives in India as well as abroad. Where there is passion, there is achievement. And where there is achievement, there is Indian Achievers Forum. Hi, sir. How are you? Fine, fine. All right, sir. So I'm very keen to know that how did you actually land up to the idea of choosing this filmmaking and uh, renewable energy field for yourself as your profession? Yeah, actually, initially I was in textile industry. Then I moved to uh, coal thermal power plant and their project and then operation maintenance, then cement power plant. But uh, during working at cement, I got an opportunity in solar thermal, a CSP technology. First time in India, it was coming. So uh, actually the renewable energy, which is the environment friendly renewable energy source, energy sources, and the future growth, growth uh, product prospectus was very good with the renewable energy. So I choose this renewable energy. Uh, and uh, if we see after solar thermal, there was no such uh, further projects. So I uh, entered into wind sector and since 2014, I am working in wind sector only. Uh, regarding uh, uh, this uh, film in making, what I thought actually, first of all, I identified uh, uh, the story of my father that uh, he, has, he was the means, uh, best farmer in Ajmer in 1986. And some incident also happened with him. Uh, the story was very strong. So I made a, I plan to make a documentary film on him. So once this documentary film uh, prepared and when it came in market and when I won many awards, it motivated me. And so I started to plan to make more movies, uh, short film or uh, documentary film, which can inspire and motivate and educate the people. So uh, the next film I am doing, that is the Good Samaritan, which is related to road safety. So this was the reason, uh, after making this particular film and finding it good for the society, I thought for others like that. Uh, right, sir. So, you know, nothing comes that easy to us. So I'm sure that you must have also faced certain sort of challenges in your journey. So uh, tell us a bit about those challenges, please, that you have to, you know, go through in your professional role. Yeah, in professional, you can say the challenges were that I have changed multiple industries and multiple organizations. I face different cultures, different type of people, different type of technologies, all these things. 
so uh, everything was challenges and new learning was there keeping learn the new things and adopting the culture and delivering the same output it was really challenging for me and uh, the second thing was the uh, in 2017 when i was in wind uh, industry there was a, a slow down so the growth was almost stuck up well because uh, this was feed in tariff to auction based uh, scheme is not because the rate of the uh, wind uh, energy comes very low uh, almost 2 rupees per kwh so the profit margin is very less with the efficiency uh, companies so uh, you can say uh, the growth of individual growth of professionals also stuck up so there is also challenge we are facing and uh, another challenge i faced uh, because i i was selected uh, for abroad i got a offer a lucrative offer was there for the hybrid solar and wind but due to this corona i have to uh, lose that so that is also a challenges and other challenges uh, in uh, because i am electrical engineer so lot of challenges i faced but everything is done because if you have positive spirit and uh, creativity and innovation you can do anything else. very right you said sir so now uh, moving ahead tell us a bit more about the services that you are providing to people out there please as a professional means i, I am an electrical engineer and a project manager uh, ipma certified senior project manager so uh, i can do in any organization i am seeking abroad also so i can provide the uh, i am expert in the project execution and project management which are, because i have done cement textile coal thermal solar thermal wind farm so i can do anywhere any type of projects at field because i have experience in high experience as well as the corporate also i have worked so i can do anything else i have worked with the contractor i have worked with the epc company i have worked with the customer and also so i can uh, deliver anything else and other things uh, i am also connected with the ngo that is rajasthan sadak suraksha society so uh, regarding road safety also uh, because it is a social cause so i i took interest and uh, i can deliver this road safety also when as and when required sometime i get chances to deliver the, the road road safety training sessions i have delivered it and third one is this uh, film making So I have cheap advisor in Kirti Productions. So uh, if any filmmaking will continue, so I I, I can support them uh, in filmmaking, which can inspire, motivate, and educate the people. I freely providing the job support to the needy people and uh, counseling the uh, engineers whenever they ask uh, because I am connected at LinkedIn or professional network. Someone asks me what to be done next, so I provide their free counseling. Right, sir. So now, uh, talking about the future, uh, what further plans are you having for yourself in the upcoming years? So if you can share a bit about those plans as well. Uh, first, uh, I will continue uh, as a my pro continue my professional career, uh, where uh, our next project is also coming in the wind projects. It is one fifty megawatt. So I will continue uh, deliver uh, the project management, or at the same time, I will continue connected with our road safety mission. my uh, with our ngo and uh, another thing uh, th- in this film making it is a uh, separate uh, means uh, you can say other type job so i will support them uh, is in whenever whenever it is required and i am also planning to provide uh, the education to the engineers in which i am expert uh, which are subject like electrical you can say or project management project execution so this is my target and also uh, if i will get any chance good chance in abroad i will go there if uh, job also is not uh, so uh, very good uh, lucrative then i can uh, i can start uh, my own business also there is no issue all right sir and i wish you all the success for all these plans of yours as well thank you all right sir so now uh, what do you have to say on this atmanirbhar bharat campaign that is going on in india at the moment though it is something which was there within us from last many many years but this corona time has made us all realize its importance so what do you have to say on this concept of becoming self reliant it is a very good concept and uh, uh, how we use the opportunity because it was the opportunity and opportunity is converted in the uh, this particular thing and no doubt 
India can do anything else. Now government is also supporting financially and uh, uh, many reforms uh, and uh, laws, whatever, which can support the uh, businesses. So people will of India will come forward. They will start their own business. They will like in solar, we can say we are starting the manufacturing of solar models, which are earlier imported from China. So ultimately uh, self-reliant, you can say, really will come and yes, uh, it will take time, but no doubt it will help uh, our nation as well as it will create jobs, which is the need of the hour right now. So now, uh, though I know it's always a very wonderful feeling when we get recognitions for our work, uh, still I would love to know from you that uh, what are your feelings on winning this Indian Achievers Award for yourself? I would like to thank uh, Indian Achiever team uh, who identified me and uh, recognized my efforts and I can see my success story is also there. So uh, it gave us a chance to connect with the uh, professionals from uh, various industries and many business communi community is there. So ultimately, we, when we uh, come across those people who are good in their business and who are good in their profession, we also think to grow, uh, uh, connect with the good people and we can also contribute for the nation. So ultimately, the, the Indian HO team is doing good. They are identifying the uh, professionals who are doing good in their business and they are recognizing them. It is a good practice. It should help. And you are truly an achiever, I must say, sir. If you can please put a bit more light on your social contribution as in the CSR activities that you are involved in. If we talk about CSR uh, in different way I'm doing, uh, first of all, if, because I am a renewable energy professional, so in our own company, uh, we, are, we do the CSR, means we distribute books to schools and we develop the schools and we give in the cow uh, for cows in Gosala committees and uh, uh, for development of the village, we already do the CSR wherever we are developing the wind farm. This is my uh, for this INOX company. And uh, other we can say, uh, I'm also connected with the uh, Rajasthan Sadak Suraksha Society a NGO working for road safety since 2015. So uh, as and when required or sometime I also uh, contribute for the road safety which is the need because in India we can see we have started the Swach mission, Swast mission but there is no uh, safe, safe mission means we can Surakshit mission is still missing. So uh, this is our target the how we can uh, work for the road safety actually my elder brother is dedicated to road safety. He is the first PhD holder in India, but I am also connected with him for this social cause. And third one is that being a professional and I, I would like to share my knowledge and my experiences, skills to other uh, engineers, new engineers, or how I can support them in the job that is also so or regarding environment. Already I am in the renewable energy, so we are contributing in the environmental protections as well as plantation also we are supporting uh, through our engines. Right, sir. So now before concluding our session, uh, what message or mantra you would like to give your, uh, to a younger generation to become successful in their careers? Success always demands hard work and positivity and patience. So we have to be work positively always and with hard work. No doubt it works hard work, dedication and commitment. So uh, th second thing is that don't care the people around you because whatever commitment you have made with yourself, just do for that. You will get it sometimes. So keep continue with patience, hard work and integrity. You will succeed. That is my message to all uh, new engineers. Very rightly said, sir. So thank you so very much for joining with us today. It was lovely talking to you and uh, I wish you all the success for your, all your future endeavors as well. And may you continue to inspire us the way you are doing. Thank you so very much for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.